So the Marines conducting training out here are validating or invalidating some of our emerging concepts for expeditionary advanced base operations, and particularly to serve as a stand-in force. Stand-in forces are small but lethal, mobile, low signature, relatively simple to sustain and maintain forces that can operate at the leading edge of a maritime defense in depth to conduct sea denial operations in the Indo-Pacific area responsibility. This is the first time that uh, a strike team has been attached to USMC in Guam, uh, trialing out FCF concepts. It's allowed us to trial us working in small teams and self-sustain ourselves, that being water resupply, powering of a kit, and just all around sustaining ourselves in this sort of jungle and hot environment. The training that we're doing out here translates really well to the future commando force and the small team concept that we're trying to incorporate. Operating with small teams with highly skilled individuals, that link between 35th MU is trying to do with the future commando force uh, is solidifying that relationship between the two of us. But at the end of the day, we're all Marines, and that means something very important to all of us. You know, we're all soldiers of the sea. So the TTPs and the lessons learned doing exercises like this only serve to strengthen our allies and our resolve here in the Indo-Pacific AOR. And both of us being out here and able to further our emerging concepts and work together and keep lessons learned and pass that on to our next Marines that will be in this environment is extremely beneficial. And that's, that's what this training provides.